Hi, this is Chandra with Solutions by Chandra LLC. When you're looking for a job, your social media presence is very important. Employers do check. Now, there's a lot of different legislation going on as whether employees should be able to look at people's social media profiles. I'm just telling you from experience, they do. And if you're going to be quite honest, you all have probably checked out other people's social media pages as well whether you're doing company research or even stalking people who currently work in an organization. But I'm going to tell you three types of photos that will get you in trouble and prevent you from getting a job. There are three specific types. One is what I call beer. You don't want to post pictures of you throwing it back on social media, indulging in alcohol or things of that nature, um, maybe other substance abuse, substances that you're, in take, you're taking. Legal not legal that's not for me to say not for me to judge however what you do in those photos can impact your job remember when you're working for a company you are the face of that brand you're the face of that organization so if you're kicked back with the Patron you know having a good time or you're off at a ball game and you got a bucket of beers in front of you or you're holding the bottles of beer drinking again that's your personal preference but not everything has to be documented on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Those things live forever. So now imagine if you are, let's say you're looking, you're, you know that you're going to be going to the doctor for a medical procedure. And you just have me flipping through Instagram, maybe say the night before your procedure, and you see your doctor, you know, living it up. How do you feel? I'm sure you're not feeling good. The next picture that will get you in trouble, and I'm just going to be blunt as I say that, booty pics. Now, what are booty pics? Booty pics are pictures, and not just of women, but male and female taking pictures of maybe say promiscuous poses, or you're um, not wearing many clothes. Those pictures, again, it's your preference, but not everybody needs to see that. And employers don't because, again, you're a face of their brand and their organization. So if you're posing for a picture, it's not necessary to have your chest all out, your behind all out, or for guys, you know, showing off your six packs or eight packs or how many ever packs and flexing and all that, twerking videos, you know, Kiki, do you love me videos on the side, all stuff like that. That's not necessary. So we talked about beer. We talked about booty. And now the third one is blunt. I hinted at that with the first one under beer when I said other substances. If you indulge in Mary Jane and other activities, they may be legal in your state possibly, maybe not, but you don't want to post those pictures of you, you know, on a bomb or, you know, showing off your weed collection. And I've seen these things, especially if you are, I've seen a lot of this, a lot of the younger audiences of people that I work with. No one needs to see that. People don't want to see that. Even if it's legal, again, you take those those substances for whatever reasons, and it, an employer can look at it that possibly you could, your judgment can be impaired. So, Chandra's words of wisdom. No beer, no booty, no blunt pics on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anywhere in social media, because what you post will hurt you in the future. If you have questions about this or you want to schedule an appointment where I can actually do a social media audit for you, just click the link in this video and follow up. I'll follow up with you and we can schedule a time where I can do a complimentary assessment for you. So remember my words, no beer, no booty, no blunt. Take care. Bye-bye.